Uh, hi, I'm Russ Hoffman. I'm with Eviton Technologies based out of Pittsburgh in the United States and I'm here at Superbooth uh, this week uh, showing uh, uh, my full line of products uh, which are uh, Eurorack modules uh, which go anywhere from uh, shortwave radio receivers to sonar modules to case-to-case -case bridges. I've got a polyphonic rhythm generator and some nice DIY kits uh, which uh, luckily uh, we, we sell in bunk. All right, so uh, this is the RF Nomad, which is a voltage-controlled shortwave radio receiver. And the voltage control uh, controls the tuning parameter. So while I can tune this by hand, you can hear these sort of classic shortwave, crazy swoopy things. Uh, we've got some other rhythmic things going on here, but you can hear this little swoopy thing. I can tune in on this signal. And you can hear a little faint voice in the background going on there. There we go. Uh, what the CV does is allows us to move that tuning back and forth, and because it's a sideband receiver, the pitch shifts up and down as well uh, with the tuning. So I'm just gonna bring a little CV in here that's coming in from this uh, lovely Turing machine. And you can hear it's kinda, gives us a little sequency kind of thing going on here, but you can still hear the uh, the radio staticky stuff going on in the background. And uh, because I'm receiving this actually from a DIY kit, a transmitter next door, I can move my antenna closer and farther away and affect the signal. Um, so that brings me to this next uh, kit, which is going to be co coming out uh, fairly soon, which is the A modulator kit. It's a DIY transmitter that transmits uh, shortwave radio on the same frequency that the RF Nomad can receive. Uh, and what this allows you to do is pump in your own audio signal, which I'm just uh, right now bringing from a, an iPhone playing, uh, playing an audio track and uh, I can tune in on that signal. Uh, the rhythm that's going on here is my polyrhythm generator, um, so we're having some fun with that. And uh, one of the other uh, interesting things we can take a look at uh, in a second is our, our new link module that's coming out. So this next module is a utility module that uh, really helps you with the case of having a lot of patch cables that you want to go between either maybe two separate Eurorack cases or even if you have one very large Eurorack case as many people do. Uh, this is the link module and what it does is it's simply a passive connection. Uh, if I take a cable and plug it into say Jack M here and over my other synth I install another link module. Uh, that same signal comes out of Jack M uh, and it's completely passive, so uh, the signal can actu signals can actually go in either direction. Uh, and when it's time to separate the two cases, you simply unplug this uh, standard HDMI cable and uh, take your cases apart. Um, it's, it's very handy. Uh, a fun thing to do with this is if you have a buddy who comes over, uh, you throw one of these in, in your uh, rack, throw one in his rack, and then you can do cool things like say, hey Morgan, can you uh, throw your, the output of your LFO into Jack K here? And, and say, oh, okay, well I'll take that LFO out of K and plug it into my other thing here, and let me send you the output of my cool RF Nomad back into you over channel R. So he takes it out of R and goes into his VCA and back and forth, and it's, and it's really fun, but it's, uh, it's quite simple. There's uh, four stereo jacks at the top, uh, 10 mono jacks at the bottom, so if you count all that up, that's 18 signals in just 4 HP with one single cable to plug in and unplug. And it's built with the quality funky con jacks too. So the uh, RF Nomad, the CLX, and the Micro CVC modules are all available and shipping now. I should mention that the RF Nomad is also available in the 5U uh, big jack format. Um, the A modulator DIY transmitter kit will be available this summer. Uh, the sonar uh, module will be available uh, probably late summer, early fall, and the link module will be available in just a few weeks, just waiting uh, for some sheet metal work to come back on that one.